As for a granny, I have sort of, I have a block on numbers and dates. I'm pathetic with remembering dates. Um, and like, I have a hard time remembering how old he is or like, you know, the funny thing is it was sort of thrown in our face. I was not at a point where I was like, oh, if only I had a grandbaby. If only, it was like, bam, you're a grandma. <laughs> You know, and even though I am almost 43, it's not like I'm too young to be a granny. It's just that I just have to take these things in stride. You know what I mean? So, my daughter has tried to get me to agree to keep the baby once each week. And I, I don't know what I might be doing. You know, I have a, I have a very free-flowing lifestyle, and I'd like to keep it that way. But I will keep him today. And I may agree to each once a week. That would be good. But I really, I can't decide which day. I can't, I just can't commit, you know? So anyway, I'm going to pick him up today. And we're going to start having a segment each week. Um, taste test with Granny Tanny. Where the baby will enjoy fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables. Blending into a baby style consistency. Because I have been noticing some things that he's been eating. And he could benefit from my knowledge, you know. So, I'm on my way to get him. And he and I have to go do a little produce shopping. Which he will love. And then I'm going to have a long talk with him about how he does not require and will not require the granny to hold him constantly. I have things to do, and I'm in the middle of painting, and he can play with pots and pans, you know, and wooden spoons. That's what babies do, right? So, I want to tell you that we, he and I are going to be taste testing some butternut squash soup today slash baby food style consistency. And what we're going to do, when you know, when you buy your butternut squash, you're going to want to get, um, get a decent size one, you know. I usually try to buy the biggest one I can. What you're going to want to do is cut off each end. Then, you're going to slide, what you do is you take your vegetable peeler, and I told y'all those Titan ones are really good. I was showing yesterday. So, you slice off the peeling of it, and then you're going to cut it in half, hot dog style, which means a long ways. And then you're going to scoop out the seeds. You can, in fact, dehydrate those and season them a little bit for a later time snack. But usually there's not enough, so I don't bother. So, you're going to have your butternut squash. You're going to cube that up into about two or three inch cubes. Enough so it doesn't burden your Vitamix so bad. Then, however much you use, let's just say you've got three cups of butternut squash. You're going to put that in your Vitamix. And the liquid that you add is going to be half the amount. I'm going to use coconut water. So if I have three cups butternut squash, I'm going to have a cup and a half of coconut water. Then I'm going to take some of the coconut meat slash jelly. You know that stuff that will also be tasted by the little baby today. Which will be great for him and for his granny. So we will be putting that in there. I have to see how much I'm going to add of that. Um, we're also going to add... Um, a banana pepper, sweet banana pepper. I don't want it to be too spicy for little baby. I'm going to have a few um, peppercorns. I'm going to have some cumin, and it gives it that sort of savory flavor. I'm going to have, you can put a tomato in. That is optional if you want it to have that kind of flair. Basically, that's all we're going to need. Do you see how easy that's going to be? Um, you know, you could use that with any kind of squash. You could use it with the acorn squash. Um, yellow squash. I love the squashy soups. They're very satisfying in the evening. And I told my Mr. Scott last night that I wanted something else besides salad. And he said that salad is fine, baby, but I wanted something else. So, anyway, we will be making that and we will be letting the baby try it. Okay, also I wanted to tell you about this. Um, the coconut water in that, by the way, gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor. 
If you use regular water, you can add a couple of dates to that. Really, probably a date. Depends on how big they are. By the way, right now at Costco's, dates must be in season somewhere because they are very juicy. The, the dates they have over in the fresh area where I live when I go in Costco's. But either yesterday or the day before, I had some, I bought some dates because I like to pit them, decap them, and smash them flat and freeze them so I don't just sit around and eat these things all day because I don't want to get most of my calories from that. They only have so much nutrition. They're great for a sweetener and they're great for adding to sauces and things to me, but I don't just live off dates, you know. And I'll tell you what I especially don't do is just go around eating dates as a meal, okay, because these things dehydrate my guts. I like water-rich foods, and even though those are raw, but they are more of a dehydrated, concentrated food. So I really noticed a slight dip in my energy yesterday afternoon after I ate those, and I know that's why. And I've also noticed that this may be uh, too much information, but when you go to the bathroom the next day, when you're on, <coughs> excuse me, a low-fat raw vegan diet, it's a very fluid experience, you know, but I've noticed when I have dates that it is more of a, a denser um, a consistency and that I do not enjoy. So I just wanted to point that out about the dates and um, they gave me a bit of a tummy ache and I didn't have that many, but I wasn't at home and I didn't have like them blended in water or in a sauce or anything though I think they are a great thing that's why I like to freeze them and put them in the freezer so that I always have them on hand but I don't feel like oh I've got to eat these they're going bad or whatever you know also the same thing with coconut meat and avocados because you can cut those in half you can take the pits out and then you can um, hello, you can freeze those for a later date and um, that woman's whole, <laughs> that woman's whole hiney was hanging out at her, her car. I, I would just like to say, girls, that, you know, you know, I'm not all about covering up all your skin, but if you're a girl, I really just don't think you need to go around letting your hiney crack hang out. I just think it's kind of tacky, you know, and that's just from a, a grown woman's point of view, you know. I, I mean, I love some low hip hunger pants, but I'm not going to be letting my rear end hang out like I'm a a plumber over working on uh, working under the sink you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna be coming back to y'all a little bit with little baby and I'm gonna talk to y'all about how when you are cultivating your new diet and lifestyle and mainly your lifestyle are you letting other people guilt you into things do that do they guilt you into things and it is really not what you wanted for your existence but yet you do it anyway and you walk around like a martyr and you ultimately have resentment in your heart these are the little apartments that my daughter lives in. Look how, look how there's like so many trees around. And look, they look like this. Let me show you. They're so cute. And hers has, she has the greatest one too because, let's see, let me show you where hers is. She has a tree right in front of her. See it up there? And then that's hers on the very top with wind chimes and all the cute curtains hanging. So we'll come back to you in a little bit with little baby. See you later.